Want to speak real Spanish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at SpanishPod101.com. Five sentence patterns for beginners. Let's go. Me llamo Rosa. My name is Rosa. Me llamo Rosa. My name is Rosa. Hola, encantada de conocerte. Me llamo Rosa. ¿Cómo te llamas? Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Rosa. What is your name? Tengo 26 años. I am 26 years old. Tengo 26 años. I am 26 years old. Yo tengo 26 años. ¿Y tú? ¿Cuántos años tienes? I'm 26 years old. And you? How old are you? Vivo en Madrid. I live in Madrid. Vivo en Madrid. I live in Madrid. Nací en Granada, pero ahora vivo en Madrid. I was born in Granada, but now I live in Madrid. Me gusta cantar. I like singing. Me gusta cantar. I like singing. Me gusta cantar, cocinar y viajar. También me gustan mucho los animales. I like singing, cooking and traveling. I also like animals a lot. ¿Puedes ayudarme? Can you help me? ¿Puedes ayudarme? Can you help me? ¿Puedes ayudarme, por favor? Can you help me, please? Ten phrases to help you in an emergency. Let's go. Llama a la policía, por favor. Call the police, please. Llama a la policía, por favor. Call the police, please. So if you're in Spain and you need to call the police, uh, you need to dial 091. ¿Tienes fiebre? Do you have a fever? ¿Tienes fiebre? Do you have a fever? Are you okay? Are you feeling okay? <laughs> Perdí mi pasaporte. I lost my passport. Perdí mi pasaporte. I lost my passport. So, yeah, if you lose your passport, uh, go to your embassy, I guess. Um, I hope they will take care of you very soon. Creo que comí algo malo. I think I ate something bad. Creo que comí algo malo. I think I ate something bad. So, I've never tried it, but I heard for, I heard from a friend that having some charcoal peels really helps when you have eaten something bad. Necesito un médico. I need a doctor. Necesito un médico. I need a doctor. So, if you have any health Emergency, you can call 061. No puedo encontrar el camino de vuelta a mi hotel. I can't find the way back to my hotel. No puedo encontrar el camino de vuelta a mi hotel. I can't find the way back to my hotel. Like before, I guess, it wasn't that uncommon to be lost, but now that we have like mobile internet everywhere and Google Maps and everything, I think that helped a lot, but still. ¿Hay alguna farmacia cerca? Is there a pharmacy nearby? ¿Hay alguna farmacia cerca? Is there a pharmacy nearby? In Spain, you can easily spot the pharmacies because they have like a big uh, green cross sign on the side. So they are really easy to spot. ¿Me puedes ayudar? Can you help me? ¿Me puedes ayudar? Can you help me? I think in general, Spanish people are very friendly. So I'm sure if you are lost or need something, like you can ask them. Um, even though we don't speak English super well, I think we'll, we'll try to help you. <laughs> Necesito una ambulancia. I need an ambulance. Necesito una ambulancia. 
I need an ambulance. So if you need an ambulance, call 061. ¿Podría usar tu teléfono? Could I use your phone? ¿Podría usar tu teléfono? Could I use your phone? Uh, ti, 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 ti. <risa> Top 20 travel phrases you should know. ¿Cuánto cuesta esto? How much is this? ¿Cuánto cuesta esto? How much is this? You can also say, ¿cuánto vale? ¿Hablas inglés? Do you speak English? ¿Hablas inglés? Do you speak English? In most cases, the answer to that might not be that positive, but yeah, you can try. Mm. ¿Me puedo probar esto? Can I try this on? ¿Me puedo probar esto? Can I try this on? So if you enter a clothing store and there's something you like, you can ask the shopping assistant. ¿Me puedo probar esto? ¿Tienes sitio para esta noche? Do you have any vacancies tonight? ¿Tienes sitio para esta noche? Do you have any vacancies tonight? Maybe try to not get to the point in which you have to ask this and book your room beforehand. No. <laughs> ¿Tienes alguna recomendación? Do you have any recommendations? ¿Tienes alguna recomendación? Do you have any recommendations? Like if you travel to Spain, you have to go to Granada. <laughs> Cannot miss it. Most beautiful city in the world. Me gustaría 10 de estos. I'd like 10 of these. Me gustaría 10 de estos. I'd like 10 of these. So if you want to buy souvenirs for all your friends and you don't really w want to like think a lot, you just can find some, I don't know, keychain or postcard, um, say, me gustaría 10 de estos, I would like 10 of these, and it will be over, because it's pretty stressful to find souvenirs for everyone. <laughs> me gustaría este, I'd like this, me gustaría este, I'd like this. So if you are talking to the shopping assistant and maybe the thing you want is a bit further away, like you can point at it and say, me gustaría este. Tengo una reserva. I have a reservation. Tengo una reserva. I have a reservation. So if you really want to go to a restaurant, try to like research a little bit and see if that place is normally full so that you can like make a reservation beforehand. ¿Es este el autobús correcto para el aeropuerto? Is this the right bus for the airport? ¿Es este el autobús correcto para el aeropuerto? Is this the right bus for the airport? Normally going by taxi to the airport is pretty expensive, so you want to check the buses. ¿Es gratis el wifi? Is the wifi free? ¿Es gratis el wifi? Is the Wi-Fi free? The Spanish people have this tendency of saying Wi-Fi even in English because we are so used to call it that way in Spanish. So if uh, someone person is talking to you and say something about Wi-Fi, you know they mean Wi-Fi. ¿Me podría dar un descuento? Could you give me a discount? ¿Me podría dar un descuento? Could you give me a discount? Um, so it's not that common in Spain to ask for a discount in a store. So yeah, maybe if you go to an outdoors market or to these stalls near the beach, uh, you can ask for a discount. ¿Me podría encontrar una habitación para no fumadores? Could you find me a non-smoking room? ¿Me podría encontrar una habitación para no fumadores? Could you find me a non-smoking room? So about smoking, like um, in Spain is forbidden to smoke inside places. 
And I find it so funny that in Japan it's the opposite, like you cannot smoke outside, but you can smoke in places. I just find it kind of weird. How is it in your country? <laughs> Podría sacarme una foto, por favor? Could you take a picture of me, please? Podría sacarme una foto, por favor? Could you take a picture of me, please? I have the impression that lately, with all these selfie sticks and things, like people are not asking that anymore. But before, like, it was really common to get us that. Podría tener la cuenta? Could I have the check? Podría tener la cuenta? Could I have the check? Uh, and also, you can just say la cuenta, por favor. It's the same thing. ¿Tienen algún plato vegetariano? Do you have any vegetarian dishes? ¿Tienen algún plato vegetariano? Do you have any vegetarian dishes? So, before it wasn't that common, but nowadays there are a lot of vegetarian and vegan places opening in Spain, so it's getting easier. And also, like in normal places, they now have like options for vegetarian people, so yeah, getting easier. Perdone, ¿cuál es la tarifa? Excuse me, what's the fare? Perdone, ¿cuál es la tarifa? Excuse me, what's the fare? Some museums and monuments uh, sometimes have like a special fare for students, so if you are one, you can maybe ask. Perdone, ¿cuál es la tarifa para estudiantes? ¿Aceptáis tarjeta de crédito? Do you take credit cards? ¿Aceptáis tarjeta de crédito? Do you take credit cards? Mm, so in most shops in Spain, uh, you can pay by car and there's no problem, but maybe if you go to a small town, go to a small shop, like you might have to paying cash, so yeah, in these cases, like, you can ask this question. ¿Podría darme un mapa? Could I get a map? ¿Podría darme un mapa? Could I get a map? I'm so thankful about Google Maps because I have no sense of direction and even if I have a map, like, for me, it's so difficult to, like, understand it and follow it, so, yeah, I'm happy there's technology now. <laughs> ¿Podríamos tener el menú, por favor? Could we have the menu, please? ¿Podríamos tener el menú, por favor? Could we have the menu, please? Yeah, if you go to a restaurant, you can ask this question and they'll bring you the menu. Esto no es lo que pedí. This isn't what I ordered. Esto no es lo que pedí. This isn't what I ordered. Yeah, normally if you get something different from what you ordered and you say this politely, like they will replace it for you. Um, so no problem. Perdona, sorry, but this is not what I ordered. ¿Te importaría cambiarlo? Could you mind to change it? Want to speak real Spanish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at SpanishPod101.com. In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear the question in Spanish. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Una mujer le está preguntando algo a un empleado en la librería. ¿Qué libro quería ver la mujer? Disculpe. Me gustaría echarle un vistazo al libro en ese estante. ¿Qué libro quiere usted? El libro sobre carros. Espere un momento, por favor. ¿Este? Exactamente. Aquí tiene. ¿Qué libro quería ver la mujer? Una mujer le está preguntando algo a un empleado en la librería. ¿Qué libro quería ver la mujer? Disculpe, me gustaría echarle un vistazo al libro en ese estante. 
¿Qué libro quiere usted? El libro sobre carros. Espere un momento, por favor. ¿Este? Exactamente. Aquí tiene. Un hombre y una mujer están viendo el menú en un restaurante. ¿Qué ordenó el hombre? ¿Qué te gustaría ordenar? Esta pizza se ve deliciosa. La ordenaré. Yo comí pizza ayer, así que... Ay, entonces, ¿cómo ves esta hamburguesa? Suena bien. La ordenaré. ¿Qué ordenó el hombre? Un hombre y una mujer están viendo el menú en un restaurante. ¿Qué ordenó el hombre? ¿Qué te gustaría ordenar? Esta pizza se ve deliciosa. La ordenaré. Yo comí pizza ayer, así que... Ay, entonces, ¿cómo ves esta hamburguesa? Suena bien. La ordenaré. Un hombre le está hablando a una clínica por teléfono. ¿A qué hora tiene que ir el hombre al lugar? Hola, ¿cómo lo puedo ayudar? ¿Hasta qué hora están abiertos hoy? Hasta las seis en punto. Pero por favor, venga antes de las cinco y media. Está bien. ¿A qué hora tiene que ir el hombre al lugar? Un hombre le está hablando a una clínica por teléfono. ¿A qué hora tiene que ir el hombre al lugar? Hola, ¿cómo lo puedo ayudar? ¿Hasta qué hora están abiertos hoy? Hasta las seis en punto. Pero por favor, venga antes de las cinco y media. Está bien. Un niño está leyendo su diario. ¿Qué fue lo primero que hizo el niño ese día? El clima estuvo muy agradable hoy. Fui a la alberca esta tarde. Y fui a ver una película en la noche. También estudié en la mañana. Fue un muy buen día. ¿Qué fue lo primero que hizo el niño ese día? Un niño está leyendo su diario. ¿Qué fue lo primero que hizo el niño ese día? El clima estuvo muy agradable hoy. Fui a la alberca esta tarde. Y fui a ver una película en la noche. También estudié en la mañana. Fue un muy buen día. Una mujer y un hombre están viendo una foto. ¿Qué foto están viendo? Es una foto del equipo de fútbol de tu hijo, ¿no es así? ¿Cuál es tu hijo? Este. Ay, él es el más alto en el equipo. Él es más alto que yo. ¿Qué foto están viendo? Una mujer y un hombre. Están viendo una foto. ¿Qué foto están viendo? Es una foto del equipo de fútbol de tu hijo, ¿no es así? ¿Cuál es tu hijo? Este. Ay, él es el más alto en el equipo. Él es más alto que yo. Top 10 phrases your parents always say. Let's go. Ve con cuidado. 
be careful. Ve con cuidado. Be careful always, like before I leave home. Like my mother could tell that to me. Like always, always. Estate callado. Be quiet. Estate callado. Be quiet. I was a pretty quiet girl, so I didn't get that very much. Comportate. Behave. Comportate. Behave. I would get told that, like, if my parents left me with other people, like, they would tell me, like, comportate. ¿Qué acabo de decir? What did I just say? ¿Qué acabo de decir? What did I just say? ¿Qué acabo de decir? Ve a la cama. Go to bed. Ve a la cama. Go to bed. Voy a contar hasta tres. I'm going to count to three. Voy a contar hasta tres. I'm going to count to three. Wow. They would tell me this every time, like, and it's so scary, like, one, uno, dos, tres. <laughs> yeah. Para. Stop. Para. Stop. Very simple but very effective word. ¿Qué has dicho? What did you say? ¿Qué has dicho? What did you say? So yeah, if the child says something inappropriate, like the parent would say. ¿Qué has dicho? Para la televisión ahora. Turn the TV off now. Para la televisión ahora. Turn the TV off now. I don't know if the kids now like watch as much TV as we used to. Like maybe now they are with their computers or their phones. So it would be like, apaga el ordenador ahora. Like, turn the computer off. ¿Te has cepillado los dientes? Did you brush your teeth? ¿Te has cepillado los dientes? Did you brush your teeth? Yeah, when I was a child, they would always remind me of that, like every night. No, I do it on my own. I don't need them to, remember, <laughs> to remind it to me. <laughs> Ten words for connecting thoughts. So let's get started. Actualmente, currently. Actualmente hay un oso panda en el zoo. Currently, there's one panda bear in the zoo. Consecutivamente, consecutively. Cogió las llaves y consecutivamente se fue. He picked up the keys and consecutively he left. De hecho, in fact, me gusta tu idea, de hecho, haremos eso. I like your idea, in fact, we'll do that. En efecto, indeed. En efecto, la solución es esa. The solution is that, indeed. Finalmente, finally. Finalmente, se dio por vencido. Finally, he gave up. No obstante, however. No obstante, compró el otro abrigo. However, he bought the other coat. Por lo tanto, therefore. No tengo dinero, por lo tanto, no puedo comprarlo. I don't have money, therefore, I cannot buy it. Por otra parte, on the other hand. Por otra parte, él también tiene razón. On the other hand, he is also right. Sin embargo, nevertheless, jugaron muy bien, sin embargo, perdieron. They played very well, nevertheless, they lost. También, also, ellos también quieren venir. They also want to come. Want to speak real Spanish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at SpanishPod101.com. Want to finally start speaking in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top seven ways to practice speaking on your own with our lessons. Let's begin. Number one, shadowing. Shadowing is a proven learning technique where all you do is repeat what you hear in order to practice speaking. So, access any audio or video lesson on the site and press the play button to start. Then, as you listen or watch, just repeat the conversations. Or, even easier, read along out loud with the dialogue section. The script is right there in front of you. With our lessons, you can master entire conversations, just like that. 
Number two, read out loud. I just mentioned it, but reading out loud is another powerful tactic and deserves its own mention. With every lesson, you get written transcripts and translations. So as you play the lesson, read the dialogue out loud as you hear it. Why? By reading out loud, you're also practicing your speaking skills. You can do this with the lesson notes, the lesson transcript, or the dialogue tool. With the dialogue tool, you can listen to each line again and again, and repeat out loud until you master them all. Number three, speed up your reading to speed up your speaking. Being able to speak without thinking is a sign of language mastery. If you're talking to a native and can respond quickly, they'll assume that you're fairly fluent. How can you do this? When you read out loud, try increasing your speed a little bit every time. So, start by reading with the dialogue tool. If you're like most learners, you'll read the first line slowly. That's because you're still getting used to the words, which is okay. Reread it. On your second try, you know most of the words, and you'll read a little faster. Reread it again. On your third try, you'll be even faster, at a native speaker's speed. And being able to read these phrases out loud and fast will help you speak fast. Number four, record and compare yourself with native speakers. In order to sound like a native speaker, you must imitate native speakers. So here's how. Access the voice recorder, which is in the dialogue study tool in every lesson. Click on the microphone icon, listen to the native speaker's audio, and then record yourself. You can then compare the two recordings side by side and practice and try again and again until you perfect your pronunciation. Number five, get feedback from our Premium Plus teacher. If you're learning by yourself and don't have access to real teachers, then you can always get feedback from our Premium Plus teachers. With the My Teacher tool, you can record yourself speaking and send the audio file to the teacher. They'll review it and tell you what to improve and how. That's it. Number six, level up your speaking with Premium Plus assignments. With Premium Plus, you can also get assignments that cover reading, writing, listening, and even speaking from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number seven, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more lessons on speaking and conversations, visit our lesson library and under category, choose conversation. You'll get all of the pathways and lessons that are focused on speaking. The topic of today is the weather. Um, the first word is fresco, which means cool, but only refer to the weather. Um, a sentence with fresco could be eh, hoy hace fresco, eh, today it is cool, eh, tormenta eléctrica, thunderstorm. Uh, you could normally only say tormenta instead of tormenta eléctrica. La tormenta asustó a mi hermana. The thunderstorm frightened my sister. The next word is claro, eh, which means clear. El cielo está claro, which could be like the sky is clear. <laughs> the next word is nublado, which means cloudy. Again, <laughs> el cielo está nublado y creo que lloverá. Uh, the sky is cloudy and I think it will rain. The next word is soleado, uh, which means sunny. Hoy está soleado e iré a dar un paseo. Uh, today it is sunny and I will go for a walk. Week is at the office, so let's go. We have compañía, which means company. Mi padre no trabaja en una compañía. Uh, my father doesn't work in a company. The next word is uh, horas extras, which is overtime. Tuve que trabajar dos horas extra. I had to work like two more hours, two hours overtime. <laughs> I don't know how to translate that. Um, the next word is uh, meet, uh, reunión, sorry. Eh, which is meeting. Di una 
presentación en la reunión. I did a presentation in the meeting. The following word is salario, which means salary. Tiene un salario bajo, pero le gusta mucho su trabajo. Uh, he's got a low salary, but he really likes his job. The next word is compañero, which means colleague. Uh, mis compañeros son muy simpáticos. Uh, my colleagues are very friendly. In the classroom, aula means classroom. So, éramos 20 alumnos en el aula. Uh, we were 20 students in the classroom. And the next word is estudiante, which means student. I have already used that word in the last sentence. Mi hermana es una estudiante de secundaria. Uh, my sister is a high school student. The next word is profesora, which means teacher, but female teacher. So if you want to say like a male teacher, you have to say profesor. Uh, mi profesora de literatura era muy estricta. My literature teacher uh, was very strict. Um, the next word is deberes which is homework and you use this word with the verb hacer do your homework todos los días tenía que hacer muchos deberes every day I had to do a lot of no a lot of homework the next word is libro de texto which means textbook and a sentence with it um, Cada septiembre eh, me encantaba comprar los nuevos libros de texto. So, it's September. I loved buying the new textbooks. It's home appliances. We have aire acondicionado, which is air conditioner. Sin, en Granada, sin aire acondicionado, en verano creo que moriría. Uh, in Granada, without air conditioner, in summer, I think I would die. <laughs> it's true. The next word is aspiradora, uh, vacuum. Hay alguien que no vacía la aspiradora después de usarla. There's someone who doesn't empty the vacuum after using it. Mm. Uh, the next word is frigorífico, which means refrigerator. Sometimes, yeah, I... I say frigo instead of frigorífico, because it's too long. <laughs> El frigorífico se rompió y tuvimos que tirar la comida. The refrigerator broke down and we had to throw away the food. Um, the next word is lavadora, uh, which is washing machine. En mi residencia no hay lavadoras. Um, in my dorm there aren't uh, washing machines. The next word is ventilador, uh, fan. En verano estoy pegada al ventilador. In summer I'm stuck, glued <laughs> to the fan. It's bags. <laughs> the next word is araña, spider. Me dan un poco de miedo las arañas. I'm a bit scared of spiders. Yeah. <laughs> Cucaracha, <laughs> which means cockroach. En mi habitación en Tokio vi tres cucarachas. In my room in Tokyo I saw three cockroaches and it was horrible. <laughs> uh, the next word is gusano, uh, which is worm. Cuando era pequeña tenía una caja llena de gusanos de seda. When I was a child I had a box full of Silkworms. The next one is hormiga, eh, which means ant. De pequeña vi millones de veces la película hormigas. Eh, when I was a child, I watched a million times the film ants. The next one is mosca, which means fly. Había una mosca un poco molesta en mi habitación. There was a quite disturbing fly in my room. And yeah, this is the end of today's Spanish Weekly Words. I hope you learned something. Um, have a nice day. Take care. Bye.